job. I call out a walk. I pray this devil died and get every evil thing the Lord got to get. And listen, I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Come your child. Come your child. Come your child. I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Black people on drugs and we suffering and dying. And I know it seems like you can do whatever you want to this people. I know it seems like this, but the time for glorifying yourself is soon at an end. Shalom, Israel. We're the Ash UBK, start out of 1 West, on the 5th Street, Harlem, New York, under Commander General Yohan. Officer 50 Kusha, here to bring Richmond, Virginia, man, brotherhood, man, trying to teach our brothers and sisters, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, brotherhood, because we don't have no brotherhood. All of the murders, all of the rape robberies that we've been doing, you know what I'm saying, following our oppressor. That is not in this Bible. The Bible is for Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians only. We are the children of Israel. I'm going to start off by um, getting John chapter 13, verse 34, because we're supposed to love one another, not kill each other, steal our brother's girlfriend, uh, wives, I'm sorry, because sex is marriage, you know what I'm saying? Um do all kind of wicked and evil things that the Lord kill us for and punish us. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to start off with John chapter 13, verse 34. A new commandment I give unto you. This is Jesus Christ, a black man. You know what I'm saying? With white woolly hair. He's saying to the prophets, a new commandment I give unto you. He's saying this is a new commandment. You know what I'm saying? That ye love one another. What is love? We're going to get it in the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Because the Christian pastor in Richmond, you know what I'm saying? They teach us that loving somebody is giving them $100 or loving somebody is, is, is giving them a piece of bread. You know what I'm saying? Or opening the door for somebody or just being saying some kind words to somebody. But what does the Bible say about what is love? That's what we have to follow, you know what I'm saying? Because T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, you know what I'm saying? Joe Osteen, you know what I'm saying? All these pastors, Eddie Long, they, they, don't, they don't teach our people what real love is. But Jesus Christ, the greatest black man on earth did. Let me get some more. As I have loved you, that ye also love one another. You know what I'm saying? Let me read it from the top. A new commandment I give unto you that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Verse 35, by this shall all men know, all men is not saying every man in the world. It's only talk about the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. But he's saying, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have loved one, one to another. You know what I'm saying? He was talking to Peter. You know what I'm saying? His right hand man. You know what I'm saying? We have to love one another. Love is not taught in this society, man. All we know is hate. You know what I'm saying? All we know is hate. I'm going to get some more. And that's going to be uh, John chapter 15, verse 12. All right, and this Christ again speaking. This is my commandment, that ye love one another. He's saying it again. Why is he reiterating what he said? Because Blacks, Hispanic, and Native Indians, we are hard-headed people. We got to keep on telling us the same thing over and over. You know what I'm saying? Till we get it right. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of us get punished, you know what I'm saying, by the Most High. Because we don't want to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. That ye love one Love, love one another, Salakia, as I love you. Verse 13, greater love have no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friend. Who is his friend? 
his family members that's in his tribe. And all 12 tribes, we are a family. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, we are a family. We make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You know what I'm saying? So he's saying that you lay your life down for your brother, not kill your brother, not uh, rob your brother, but lay down your life for your friend, your brother, people that's in your tribe. You know what I'm saying? Verse 14, ye are my friends. If ye do whatsoever I command, you are the most, you are Jesus Christ or Yahweh Mashiach's friend. If you do these things that he's saying, not robbing, not killing one another, not murdering one another. You know what I'm saying? That's not brotherhood. That's not the love of the most high. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, give me give me a second. Let me find some more scriptures, actually. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, man. Cause this actually, I'm gonna get uh, Deuteronomy 28. I think it's 54. Give me a second, because this is what our people have come to in America. Give me a second. Yes, it's uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse. 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. This is what's happening all over the world. But I'm speaking on Richmond, Virginia, all of the murders. You know what I'm saying? This is what brothers, brothers are, are, are looking at their brother evil, with evil intent to rob and murder them. You know what I'm saying? You could just look every time you cut on the news there's somebody getting shot, somebody doing something evil, you know what I'm saying, to their brother. And toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. This is, these are curses, man. This is not, you know what I'm saying? This is not brotherhood. This That's not how an Israelite is supposed to live, man. You know what I'm saying? They, that, that, that's not what we should be living like. You know what I'm saying? But because we follow our, because we follow our, our oppressor, that's what happens to us. You know what I'm saying? Hold on one second. Let me drop that and get uh I'm gonna go first John four and twenty. All right. And this is very powerful scripture. All the scriptures are powerful, but this for brotherhood. This is how we should look at one another. And this is what we should go back. You know what I'm saying? We should always follow these scriptures, man. And only you can learn this is in the eyes should be K under commander general. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere else you're getting taught the Bible the wrong way. Because we are the real priests and prophets of the Lord. All right. First John chapter four, verse 20. If a man say, I love God, you know what I'm saying? We read it earlier. You know what I'm saying? What Christ said, you got to love one another. You, that, that you will be loving him. You know what I'm saying? So if a man say they love God, you know what I'm saying? Every man, most men say they love God. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. And your pastor. Definitely your pastor who taught you all these wicked things. And hate of his brother. You just robbed somebody last night, but you say you love God. That's what the Most High is telling you. He is a liar. Let me read that again. If a man say I love the most high power and hate of his brother, he is a liar. You don't believe in the most high then because you hate your brother. You know what I'm saying? For he that love of not his brother whom he have seen, you have seen this brother many times, you hating on him because 
he got a new pair of shoes on, or he getting all the women and you not getting all the women, or he got, you know, a better car, better house, things like that, which you've been taught in the Christian church to covet your brother, hate your brother. You know what I'm saying? Um, for he that loveth not his brother whom he have seen, have seen, how can he love the most high power whom he have not seen? So you're lo you loving somebody that you ne never even seen. You heard a lot of good things about the most high and you love him because you've been taught all of these things that the most high can do, but you do not love your brother who you've seen. That doesn't sound right because most people, um, all Christians do not know this Bible. They don't know that the most high heals and, you know what I'm saying, he hurts too, you know what I'm saying? The most high is not a genie. He doesn't give wishes. He doesn't, you know, do all these things that, that, that the Christian pastor will tell you he does. The most high brings forth evil when you disobey his law, statutes, and commandments. Why do you think a lot of uh, brothers and sisters are getting killed? Why do you think COVID-19 is so high in the black community? That's the most high, you know what I'm saying? All right, verse 13, I mean, 21, sloppy. And this commandment, that is a commandment. The Lord is commanding you to love your brother or you are a liar. And this commandment have we for him that he who love of the most high, love of his brother also. How do you love the most high? You follow all the law, statutes, and commandments. You don't eat shrimp, crab, and lobster. You don't murder your brother. You don't rob your brother. You don't have sex with your brother's wife. You know what I'm saying? You don't have threesomes with women. You know what I'm saying? You don't be a homosexual. You know what I'm saying? All these things is, is proven that you love the Lord. And the only way you can get this is to get in the ISUBK and the command of Jim. Uh, all right. Let me drop that. I'm going to go to Matthew 5 and 22. Matthew chapter 5 verse 22 okay, but I will say unto you that whosoever is angry with brother without a cause shall be damned be in danger of the judgment. You're mad at your brother for a small thing, for something that's that's miscellaneous, that's that's I mean or minute, so like small, something you just mad at him for no reason. You know what I'm saying? You're in in in, in danger of the judgment. What's the judgment? It's coming from the most high, the wrath of the most high, you know what I'm saying? Could be anything, anything bad. You could get the, the COVID-19, you can get cancer, you can get all kinds of diseases, plagues, you know what I'm saying? Because you hate your brother. Or somebody could come and kill you or rob you because you hate your brother. You know what I'm saying? You're in danger. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, what is Raka? You know what I'm saying? Israelite school of UPK, we got the Zion Babel uh, dictionary. We look up words uh, all the time. That's what we're going to look it up. We're going to look up what we're commenting. We're commenting. Let's All right. We're cost me empty, vain, or worthless fellow. A term of contempt or scorn. If somebody that's really talking about talking evil towards his brother. Man, look at that. Look at that dude over there. Man, I just don't like him. He just give me a bad energy. What they say nowadays, they give me a bad energy. He got bad energy. I don't like him for no reason. Don't even know that brother. You know what I'm saying? Don't even know that brother. And you, and you giving up and you say it, saying all this wickedness and evilness towards your brother. You know what I'm saying? 
All right. Shall be in danger of the council. What's the council? The council is, you know what I'm saying? Those angels getting together with the most high telling, giving, giving you, you know what I'm saying, that judgment. You know what I'm saying? What are we gonna do with this brother? Because he, he he's talking evil amongst one of the priests and prophets. You know what I'm saying? He talking evil against one of the most high, you know what I'm saying? Children, you know what I'm saying? But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. What's that hell fire could be? That hot bullet. Burning your skin, you know what I'm saying? The hell fire is the low state that our black people are already in. You know what I'm saying? For not following the commandments, you know what I'm saying? Let me drop that and get Matthew 18, 21. All right. And this is a very heavy scripture um, you know, that our brothers have not been taught. We have not been taught to do this. We actually have been taught to do the opposite of, of, of this scripture. You know what I'm saying? All right. Matthew chapter 18, verse 21. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him till seven times. So it was a brother that was sinning against Peter. And he asked Christ, you know what I'm saying? He asked Christ, how many times this, this brother has sinned against me a lot of times a day? How many times should I forgive him? This is what Christ said, verse 22. Yeah, how shall I say if unto him? I say not unto thee until seven times, but until 70 times seven. So he's telling Peter, no, I'm no, you not, you should not forgive this brother seven times. What if he sinned against you more than you know more than seven times in a day? But Christ is saying 70 times seven, and he's not talking literal. He's talking about always forgive your brother. This will knock down black on black crime, brown on black crime, brown on brown crime. This will knock down the crime in Israel, period. If we forgive, which we are not taught in the Christian church, we are not taught this in the Muslim mosque. You know what I'm saying? We, do, we are not taught that, but only in the eyes should be K and the commanded general honor. We forgive our brother. If we have a problem with a brother, we take it how the scriptures are written. Brother, uh, disrespect you. You pull that brother to the side and talk to him alone, him and him alone, and see if that brother hears you out that you disrespected me. You, you, uh, you know, you, you you came across me wrong. See if that brother got some. See what that brother. If that brother say, "Yeah, man, I, I'm sorry," you forgive that brother. Forgive him. There's another step to after that, and we'll get to that late in a few minutes. Hold on. Let me finish this out. All right. Verse twenty three. Therefore, is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king? Oh no, Salak. I'm not, no, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. So like, I'm going to drop that. I'm going to drop that and go to Matthew 25 and 40. All right. All right, Matthew chapter 25. Actually, drop that, drop that, drop that. I'm not, I'm not gonna get that. I'm not gonna get that. I'm gonna do my second. There's no scripture that I'm gonna pull. Okay, this is this is something heavy uh, in Israel. We need to learn in Israel too. Luke chapter 6, verse 31. And 
and as ye and as ye so like it, and and as ye would would that men should do to you do ye also to them likewise if you don't want nobody robbing you why would you rob them you don't want nobody to murder you and your family why are you murdering somebody else in their family this scripture is powerful that christ is telling us not to do don't do um something that you wouldn't want done to you. That's exactly what he's saying. Clear, point blank. You know what I'm saying? Drop that. And go to Mark 12 and 31. You all right? Mark chapter 12, verse 31. And the second is like so like it. Matter of fact, let me start at 30. Let me start at 30. Okay. Mark 12 and 30. And thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. So he's telling, Christ is telling us that we should love the most high with all our mind, heart, soul. You know what I'm saying? And that strength. You know what I'm saying? So with everything you have, you're supposed to love the Lord. Verse 31. And the second is like, namely this. So the second one is almost like this one, the first one. So they're, all, they're equal. It's like it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Let me read that again. Thou shalt love thy neighbor in, as thyself. Loving your neighbor is loving the people of your family. Not your immediate family all the time. I mean, you also love them, but it's talking about the tribe. I um, the is Israelites. We are Israelites, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. So you should love all of your people as you love yourself. That's brotherhood. That's sisterhood. That will keep us from killing one another. You know what I'm saying? We have to learn this in order to fix our community, fix Israel. And only in the ISUPK under command in Jimmy Yohanna, where you learn how to fix your nation because he is a great leader, the only leader, you know what I'm saying, that can fix and help black people under, under the most high power, you know what I'm saying, and our king, Yahweh Mashiach, as you know, is Jesus Christ. All right. There is none other commandment greater than these, those two commandments. You can know all the scriptures. You can know all the breakdowns. You can, you know, you can, you can give so much charity out your money. You can do all that. But if you don't love the most high with everything you have, your mind, your body, I mean, your, your uh, heart, soul, mind, strength, and you love your brother and your sister as you love yourself, then you don't have nothing. You know what I'm saying? And you only can learn this in the UPK. All right. Let me drop that. Let me get Mark 7 and 9. Let's see. All right. Mark chapter 7 verse 9 and he said unto them full well ye reject the commandment of the most high that ye may keep your own tradition what is that all these holidays that we just celebrated these uh, 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 you know we as in black suspects and native Indian, of course we don't celebrate any uh, oppressor holiday 
We only celebrate our holy days, like the Passover, the Feast of Tabernacle, you know what I'm saying, the Hanukkah, you know what I'm saying, holidays like that, Feast of Eleven Bread. Those are the Lord's days and uh, found in Leviticus, the 23rd chapter. We do not follow the traditions of, of, of our um, oppressor, which celebrated uh, Christmas and New Year's and Thanksgiving and Halloween. What's another one coming up soon? Well, they just celebrated Martin Luther King Day. That traitor, you know what I'm saying? Even though he was a black, uh, a black man, so-called black man, he integrated our people and he traded on our people. You know what I'm saying? Those days are not the Lord's days. The Lord says in Amos uh, 5 and 21, he hates your feast days. We're not supposed to celebrate that. That's why all oh, our birthdays, that's a big one. Never so, supposed to celebrate our birthdays. The Lord said that's, and that's not brotherhood. That's not brotherhood, you know what I'm saying? We are not supposed to celebrate none of those days, all right? I'm going to get one more scripture before I cut out here. Let's see. I'm going to leave it with this. All right. And this is for all of, you know, brothers and sisters in Richmond, Virginia, you know what I'm saying? Get in the ash, you BK, I'm the commander, General Yohana. You know what I'm saying? Sign up for the classes. We um, got brothers teaching out in Norfolk. I'm signing on the notes, those classes, you know what I'm saying? Get your Hebrew name, getting all black, you know what I'm saying? And get your boots, man. And let's follow the Lord, man. All right. First John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of the most high power. This is the love of the most high power. The Bibles are about to tell all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. What is the love of the Most High? That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. We keep them. We don't kill our brother. We don't rob our brother. We don't sleep with, have sex with his wife. Sex is marriage according to the Bible. You stay with that woman that you have sex with forever until you die. Women, you know what I'm saying? You stay with that man until he dies. You know what I'm saying? And his commandments are not grievous. Not eating shrimp, crab, and lobster. Um, not eating pork chops and, and catfish and tuna fish and things like that. Those are not things that's not grievous. Getting a roundup, a shape up, rounding your bald in your beard. You know what I'm saying? Those things are not hard to do. You know what I'm saying? Coveting your brother or your sister. You know what I'm saying? murdering your brother or sister, all these things are not hard. That's what grievous mean. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said this, we should follow all those commandments and we will live forever. You know what I'm saying? All of Israel will live forever. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep on keeping these commandments. That's my time. Shalom, Yahba, Shem, Yahshua, Barak, Shalom, Shema, Thaba, Shem, Yahshua. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I'm believing fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.